my name's Melinda Holden. I am on my father's side, a Turbalang woman, and also Gurang. And in my mother's side, I'm from uh, North Queensland, uh, Wadagamot, which is around the Herbert River District. We have a street in Bundaberg called Baroland Street, uh, one of the main streets around town. And linguistically, we'd, we'd pronounce it Burrowland, uh, a bit shortened. It means big stone. You've got all those um, big rocks down at um, Bargara, you know, the, the, the stone, stone walls that the Kanakas, the South Sea Islanders built. So they would be big, big stones. Further down, Towards the coast, we have a suburb called Barola, and that's where a lot of the stone walls have been built too. So it's uh, evidence of, of who actually is the traditional owners of this land, you know. Um, it supports what we're saying, who, you know, that Turribalang is the, the traditional owners of this land. Barola, big stone. Wangara or Wangara and that means big scrub and in Bundaberg here we have lots of um, places that that name is. There's the Wangara Street of course. I know there is a Wangara school and that place there had a lot of scrub as well so I think that's why it ties in with big scrub. Yes. Hmm. Wangara big scrub. The word for the Burnett River, it, it is pronounced burl burl, but we pronounce it burl burl. Two words, burl burl, in the, the linguistic way. And of course, Burnett River runs from the mouth right up to the top end. Um, of the Triple Ang country. It's quite an important word and it belongs to the Triple Ang people. Burl burl. You know, with language, and particularly if it's your own language, you want it, you want it to be there for you, for your generations, for your children. And this is the first time we've had that opportunity to be able to revitalise the language, and I know now that we can pass that down to our, to our children and our grandchildren.